In today's video, this little tech tutorial, I'm going to show you how to freak any background, especially one where it displays a clock, to go from this to go to that. Full customization. As we can see, I'm a very big NES fan, so I decided to go with something from Ninja Gaiden, but I wanted full customization at my fingertips. This will be a temporary solution. As you refresh the page, you will lose this, and I will explain to you why here in a second. All right, I have two online clocks open, clocktab.com and onlineclock.net. Now, this little technique, little trick will work for any website, but this is really going to be more so for web designers, developers, and teachers who want to have some little tricks in their bags when they want to actually change the background. And I actually use this to project up here on my screen, my projector for my students when I'm trying to do some sort of clock clock down. And I don't want to use the default like settings that they have, the default images for the background. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and use my little web design bag of tricks to make some changes to this in real time now the changes that I'm going to make they're all in the browser so the minute that you refresh your page these changes will disappear so this is just something to do um, temporarily to you know just kind of just, just just change something for a moment of time so the first thing that we're actually going to do right now okay Actually, we want to find a GIF or an image. You can find a still image, but I'm going to use a GIF because they're animated. And I found this little guy right here. So what I'm going to do at this moment, I'm going to right-click, open image in new tab. And we're doing this all off of Google. Okay, so from here, the URL that's at the very top of the page, we're going to copy this bad boy. Copy it. After we've highlighted it, if, if, if you click on it, it doesn't highlight everything all at once. Just go ahead and just kind of click and drag that down it'll be all right you'll you'll definitely get there okay so now that we actually made some copies of that we're going to then click on these three dots in the corner this is in google chrome i haven't done this in i've done this in firefox but we're using google chrome right now for in terms of tutorials okay so i want to go to more tools all right there we go so we want to go to developer tools now, on this website, we're actually going to mess directly with the CSS code. This is going to be some external CSS code. So I'm going to go ahead and click the HTML element that's here, the HTML tag, because that inline style, that's where this background declaration is located. But here, we're going to go around, we're going to mess with the CSS code. So I'm going to, let me kind of bring that down so y'all can see. Okay, so I'm going to mess directly with the actual background image as you can see here as it's spelled out so I'm going to delete that delete all that and I'm going to right click so y'all can see I'm just gonna paste that in there and voila simple now we simply added our background image to this background to this clock background so if I wanted to project this up there for the students they could just see this and like I said for my students it's not really distracting but play around and see what works for you like I said this works with still images too even more so. So next we're going to go here to this different website, okay, onlineclock.net. And this one is going to be a little bit trickier because you're going to do what's called inline styling. So let's go ahead and let's click on the three dots, make these changes in the browser, developer tools. Now here we're going to click on the actual body tag. And now I'm going to delete the BG color and I'm going to do style equals Okay, kind of like you see with all these other elements, but when you're doing inline elements for CSS, you have to use the style property, the style attribute for this inline, for this HTML inline tag. And since the color is actually located in the body, the body is actually containing what the background is going to look like. This is where we're going to host our code. So now from here, we're going to type in background image. Okay, URL. Okay, semicolon, I'm going to this time just right click, control V, okay, space, we're going to declare a background size, just cover, then background position, oh, I spelled that wrong, which would be center, all right, we're going to hit enter, all right, now we see that our image has become has is actually repeating right now we've accomplished what we set out to do but I don't want this to be repeating so there's another part of this another value I'm going to add to my attribute for this here okay let's see here something went background position 
center. Okay, background, size, cover, then background, repeat. No repeat. Okay, I'm going to click off of it. Bam. There we go. Now I've added those additional values, properties, additional attributes to make sure that I get one centered background image nice and full covering the whole page doesn't look all pixelated and watered down this is the exact look that I was actually going for now the final thing is is that when you refresh the page this all disappears like I said the work is being done in the browser so I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page and it goes back to the default settings as it was originally coded into the website same thing here all right, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, if there's anything I was going over is confusing, like I said, if you already have prior web design or not, now you don't even have to have prior web design development experience. If you just dabbled in some HTML and CSS code, you're going to know what I'm talking about. If you are a teacher by chance looking at this and you're like, what, what did he just do? Just leave some questions down there and I'll continue to explain it for the sake and longevity of this video. I just wanted to go ahead and just kind of show you how it is actually done. For more explanations in terms of how CSS and HTML works, not going to really be the video for that. So this is more so kind of intermediate, but still very simple technique to use. Thank you again for watching DLJ Works video. See y'all in the next one. God bless y'all. Looking to outsmart the algorithm? Two buddy is it. Retrieve the right results targeting keywords that will allow you to be at the top of search results. TubeBuddy also provides a channel checklist, a video tag to tag your videos properly, and other features on the back end to make sure you stay winning in YouTube. Become friends with TubeBuddy today. Link is in the description.